kitten love right on my chair. That's right, huh, Hun Bun? I always feel so guilty because I have to move her so I can sit down and work. But, oh well. Oh, you're adorable. Adorable. Hey guys, welcome to a new studio vlog. It's super, super hot out. It's um, only 25 degrees Celsius outside, but inside this apartment, it's like, I don't know if the word is hot box. I think that's when you smoke weed in a car. But that term really qualifies for my apartment building because it is like a box of heat. And I have no doubt that it's over 30 degrees inside this apartment. apartment. And a lot of places in Canada don't actually have AC, even though our temperatures can get high during the summer. And so we just have to sweat it out and lay in front of a fan or work in front of a fan. And uh, that's basically how you deal with it. Some of the newer apartment buildings have um, AC though, and I'm so jealous. <laughs> I live in an older building though, so it is what it is, right? And um, I have a lot of work to do. I have an, a really nice order to fulfill. And then I'm gonna be working on some more t-shirt designs and actually um, taking the Medusa piece that I made and digitizing her and recoloring her digitally and doing all that. And basically I'm still working on making my Squarespace shop connect with Printful so I can have the print on demand products. And also I heard about Art of Wear and they offer wall tapestries for print on demand. And that sounds really exciting to me. <laughs> so I might look into that too. Um, so yeah. That's basically my plans for this week. Um, it's Thursday today. I kind of took a few days off at the beginning of the week, so I'm just really getting back into things now. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna be working on my shop, working on t-shirt and sticker designs, and uh, making this order. Hey guys, so just a little update. Sweating like crazy. I'm really frustrated right now because I just realized I bought the wrong ink cartridges for my printer and I have an order that has to go out and I'm just like, well, I can't print the order, right? Because I don't have the ink cartridges and it's gonna take a while for the ink cartridges to arrive because um, the ones I need to order aren't available on Amazon and it's really funny, the printer's available on Amazon but the ink cartridges aren't. They used to be. So anyway, um, I bought the wrong ink cartridges. I spent $166 on that, and um, that's a lot of money, yeah. So that's, you know, a punch in the gut, and I guess that comes with being in business. Things like this are gonna happen, and it really, really sucks. And I feel bad because uh, I'm supposed to get this customer's order out, and depending on what they decide, I'll either have to refund it, or they'll have to wait, you know, until I can get the ink cartridges and um, shipping within Canada, because I am gonna buy the ink cartridges this time directly through Canon, Canada. And shipping in Canada is not a fast thing. So I don't know if the customer is gonna wanna wait or not. And I just feel so bad not being able to deliver on what I promise. And so I really hope that they're not like inconvenienced or upset because that would really be sad and bother me. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I just, oh, I feel so stressed out right now. I need to like chill because there's nothing I can do in this situation. So yeah, please excuse my ranting. Um, this is just all, I guess, what happens in business. You make mistakes and sometimes the price of those mistakes is $166. And yeah, so, I'm gonna probably relax a little bit and then work on some sticker and t-shirt designs and then call it it for tonight. So yeah, good night. Hey guys, happy Friday. I ended up being able to order the ink today. Came out to $255 because I added express shipping on there and I also added an extra ink cartridge of the one that 
I don't know if I told you guys, I tried to put one of the wrong ink cartridges into my printer because I thought it was the right ink cartridge and the printer still thinks that the wrong ink cartridge is in it. So when I get the right one, I'm going to stick it in it, but I'm figuring there might be an error there too. So I just want to have an extra of that ink cartridge in case something messes up. And also it's my most used ink cartridge. So it'll be handy to have an extra one around if there is no problem. I uh, also wanted to test out the Cricut, uh, like set it up and test it out and everything. And I know you can do it without um, sticker paper, but I really wanted to print out some test stickers on glossy sticker paper and see if it'll cut it because I know that the Cricut um, has problems cutting gloss paper. And I heard of a hack where you add scotch matte tape over the Cricut border, uh, scanning border thing, and apparently the Cricut can read it then, so I'm gonna have to try that out um, before I buy any gloss vinyl uh, sticker paper or anything like that. And yeah, so I just wanna have everything I need, like the ink in the printer to print off the stickers and have that ready for when I set up the Cricut to see if it all, it'll all work. And so, yeah, so I'm just waiting for the ink. And then um, I also had this idea, I know I, in my last vlog, I was like, idea, 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 like a million ideas. <laughs> And so um, I have yet another idea. So Emily Harvey, who's a studio vlog artist on YouTube, um, she talked about releasing artwork in collections. So I was trying to think of like collection ideas and there's this Snow White painting that I did several years ago. I'll try and insert a picture of it right now. And um, yeah, so I did that painting and I was thinking about redoing the whole idea in a different way and um, maybe releasing a Snow White collection of merchandise. And uh, that would be, um, well, I'll show you. I'll show you my ideas, just one sec. So guys, this is my idea for the Snow White collection. Here's kind of an overview and you can pause and read my checklist if you want to. But the art print is going to look like this somewhat. It's really tiny, but um, and I'd like to do it 11 by 11 inches and that means I have to buy 13 by 19 inch printer paper to print it out on and um, of the paper that I like and I was thinking I would embellish it with gold ink in certain areas and so that's that the print idea and it would be a snow white image based off of one that I've painted before and this, uh, I want to do a sticker of this bird creature with the face in it, and it's totally inspired by Audra Eau Claire. She's drawn a lot of these creatures. I'm going to change um, what type of bird it is. I think I'm going to do a raven and then have a face in it. And then um, I'd like to do a poison apple sticker, and so it's the witch's hand holding the poison apple, and then the um, poison on the apple would be holographic. I'm thinking red apple and holographic yellowish green poison. And then um, if I can get my Cricut going, I want to do a sticker sheet uh, with Snow White themed stickers. So it would be the hunter's axe, um, the apple, um, uh, a raven, because the queen has like birds, I think. <laughs> I think she has a raven. Um, and then the magic mirror with the queen in it, and then the box with the heart, the pig's heart in it, a crown, uh, sleeping, or not sleeping beauty, uh, Snow White sleeping, and then one of the creepy trees in the forest. And I'm trying to think of one more sticker to add so that it's nine stickers, but I'm not sure what that will be. So if you have any ideas, let me know below and maybe I will do it. And so yeah, that's kind of the Snow White collection idea. Um, I'd love to do things like keychains or enamel pins, but my business isn't quite built up to that level yet. Hopefully I'll get there one of these days. And yeah, that's pretty much everything I've got right now. So um, let me flip you back around. So the plan for today is to work on this pencil sketch for the Snow White piece. And then depending on um, if my eyes are sore from eye strain, I might work more on my Medusa 
drawing on the iPad. Um, I'll show you guys that somewhere in this vlog, but I'm working on the t-shirt slash sticker design of the Medusa. And um, she's cut off uh, the way the original painting was done. She's cut off like on one side of her head is the edge of the paper. And so I have to draw that in on and I'm making it quite big. And so yeah, so I'll end up showing you guys that eventually in this vlog. And um, yeah, I got a lot to do and I better get started doing it. Hey guys, happy Saturday. So um, today didn't really go as planned. Productivity, sort of good, sort of not good. I'll show you why. So I plotted out how big I wanted the Snow White painting to be. Um, this is 11 by 11 inches. And maybe it looks big on the screen, but it's actually super tiny. And I want a lot of detail in the Snow White painting, so I kind of wanted it to be more like maybe this big of a size. And so um, that means I'm gonna have to get, well, hold on. So that means I would have to get um, a bigger piece of Arches watercolor paper and they're not too badly priced but I'm not sure if it would make sense just to buy one sheet of I think it's 22 by 30 inches yeah so I don't know like with paying postage and stuff if it would just make sense to buy like several sheets but then they're about eight to about eight dollars each and so five or six of them would be like fifty dollars and I don't know if I want to spend that right now <laughs> on paper, so I'm kind of conflicted on that, but I really want to do my Snow White painting. Like, I'm really itching to do it. So I might just, you know, bite the bullet and go ahead and get the paper. But I'll probably start a little painting in the meantime while I wait for the paper to arrive. Um, so the question is, what have I exactly been doing today? Well, my printer can't print because I have no ink and um, I'm feeling like I can't creatively work on the project that I want to work on because I don't have the paper size that I want and I can't fulfill any orders because I don't have the ink. <laughs> so um, I'm kind of stuck to my own devices doing whatever I feel like. So in my downtime, I like I really enjoy watching bullet journaling videos and my favorite bullet journalers are, and I might be missing some people, but right now um, they're Jenny Journals, um, Cheyenne Barton, and um, Mary Berry Studio. Um, they have such cute bullet journals, I really love them, and you know, Probably for the past like year and a half, two years, I've been watching bullet journaling videos and I've even bought a bullet journal. And I do use it like a bullet journal, but it's super basic. It's not pretty or aesthetic. It just is, you know, very, very basic. It does have some cool illustrations and doodles in it, but that's about it. Um, and I'll do a tour of it eventually so that you guys can see what my artist style is in my bullet journal but I want to switch it to something more aesthetic at least when I have the time and possibly start doing vi like a video series on bullet journals so yeah so I'll show you what I ended up doing today so this is what I ended up doing today I put together this art journal um, bullet journal spread and it's very collagey, and I loved playing with the washi tapes because my washi tapes don't get enough love. And um, yeah, I collaged some bits. I didn't have double-sided tape, so I had to use this um, acrylic matte gel, and it worked really well. Um, not in some places though, especially in corners, I had to um, tape the photos down, but yeah. And I think the solstice was in June, not July, so <laughs> I'm just like, oops, got that wrong. But yeah, I had a lot of fun with this. Um, this is a sticker from Joy Sam, and um, this sticker right here, and this sticker right here, and all the stickers back here are from Amanda from All J Art. This is what I created. We've got a little hun bun right here. Love her. And she's lying on my sketchbook. And then, um, 
I think the light was shining perfectly on these flowers when I took this picture. And I just used my iPhone. I was really surprised with how nice it turned out. And then this was a sunset between two buildings. Um, and this is one that's um, being worked on right now. Like they're building a mini skyscraper high rise type apartment building. And this is like a cement jungle, a building right here that goes up super high. And there's this little wedge of sky that I get to see if I stand in the right spot looking out my balcony windows. Um, there's this little stretch of sky where the sun sets right in the middle and I get to see it. <laughs> Otherwise, I live in a concrete jungle. But anyway, oh, and I got this, I think from Cheyenne Barton, and she writes out like positive reminders to herself and you can give them a read if you want. It's nothing crazy, but I just wanted to try that out and speak positively to myself and um, um, will things into existence like wealth, happiness, health, success, kind of like the secret, if you've ever heard of that. But um, yeah, so, oh, and I had a lot of fun doing these little doodles. I'd love to make cute little stickers like this sometime. It doesn't really fit with like the other work that I do, but it would just be so fun even just um, to give out to friends and stuff. But yeah, so I feel like I've rambled on long enough, so I will go on to the next clip. Hey guys, happy Monday. So today I'm watching April on her new studio vlog and I'm guessing it'll be about her shop opening and I'm working on some t-shirt slash sticker designs of Medusa so I'll show you those right now. I'm in Procreate on my iPad as you can see right here and so this is the original Medusa painting that I did and then what I, what I want to do is I want to extend the painting out so that um, so that uh, I can put her whole head on a t-shirt and it's not cut off right here. And so, um, let me just change it from multiply to normal. There we go. And so what I did was I lowered the opacity down to about there. And then I started drawing over top like that and then once I uh, traced over top of my drawing I turned the layer of the original painting off and then now what I'm doing is I'm sketching in the rest of her head with all the snakes and so it's gonna look like that and I just did a really rough shape of how the snakes look and the direction that their heads will be turned and um, yeah, so the details will come later. And I'm still not sure how I'm gonna do the scales on the snakes, so I'm gonna have to work that out. And there's some gold elements on her, like in the crown, and so I'm not sure what the best way to show that is, to show that in a t-shirt, but um, I think for a sticker, it'll just be gold or holographic. So yeah, there's that, and um, I also made my first animation, which was pretty cool. It was meant to be for a video, but um, I edit my videos on my iPad and I, I edit them in Luma Fusion, and it can't actually um, add like animated PNGs to the video. So it just uploads as a regular PNG of one of the frames. But this was a lot of fun, and once I can afford to get a better computer, I definitely want to do little animations in my videos, because this was so easy and so fun. And so yeah, that's all I got going right now. So I'm gonna get back to work and continue watching April's awesome vlog. And yeah, guess whose inks arrived today? Look at all the beautiful, beautiful inks. Ah, oh, $255 later. <laughs> They better last me a while. Anyway, um, there's a customer who's been waiting, so now I can send off their order and um, change the shipping time in my shop to sooner because now I have the inks, so that's great. I did a quiz on my Instagram. Actually, I did several quizzes, 
and had everyone on there answer them and we worked out a character and a painting that I'm gonna make and I'm super excited. They helped choose all of the characteristics of the character and some of the elements of the background and so I'm gonna get started on that now. And then later I'm probably gonna work more on my Medusa pieces and I might film those a bit so that you guys can see some of the process. My friend Liz launched her launched. My friend Liz launched her Etsy shop today. You can see it right here, looking all gorgeous. And um, I love how she took her photos. I think they look beautiful. And um, I'll show you the pieces that I got. So I got a print of this. It's a, is it a philodendron? Philodendron? I think it's really beautiful. I love how she paints plants. I really want to try painting them too, but that, she did such a good job. And I can't wait to hang it on my wall. And then, um, let's see. I also got this print right here. I love the kind of warm, pale yellow color. I think it's cheerful. So I can't wait to hang that one up. And then, um, I got these crystals right here, they're stickers, and then I got these stickers right here, and I think they'll look great in my bullet journal. So yeah, make sure to check out her shop and show her some support. Oh, I really like this one too, but um, I ran out of money. <laughs> but yeah, I think that one's so beautiful. So yeah, show her some support, check out her shop, um, favorite it, and uh, share it on your social media too, that would really help her out. And yeah, congratulations, Liz. It looks great. Hey guys, happy Wednesday. So I'm looking at the frame here and I'm thinking I need to put a big plant back there. <laughs> like a big, nice green plant and maybe some twinkle lights behind me if I'm gonna vlog from here often. So I think that would look really cute. But anyway, um, happy Wednesday. So I need to start off my day by writing in my bullet journal. I have to work on a sketch for the character painting quiz that I did on Instagram where everyone voted on certain things to be in the painting. And if I haven't already said it, I will tell I will write out a list right here right what, here <laughs> of what those things were. Let me make the space a bit bigger so you can see what all the characteristics of the character are. So, um yeah, so I have to do that, sketch something cool out, and I already have an idea in my head of what I wanna do, and I'm super excited. And I looked up a whole bunch of inspirational pictures on Pinterest. Oh, by the way, I'm not sure if I'm saying Pinterest right, because I know some people say Pinterest, but I don't know, Pinterest sounds right to me, so I'm just gonna go with that. So guys, my sample sticker pack from Sticker App came in. I think it was only $2 and plus shipping, and you get all these awesome sample stickers of all the finishes and things that they offer. So I'll go through a few of my favorites. So um, this is the one that I've gotten done, uh, this is the hollow one that I got done first on one of my most popular stickers, and I just love it, it's really beautiful. And then, um, where is it? This is the glitter holographic. And I've gotten that done on a sticker too. And it's just so pretty. I love it so much. And um, this is brushed aluminum. So if you wanted a silver or gold finish, you might go with that. And I think you can get silver or gold in the mirror finish too, but it might actually just be silver. I'm not sure, but it's kind of like a mirror. Like you can kind of see my face. And um, then there's a thing called matte mirror which um, is matte, but still has a mirror-like finish. And um, that's kind of important for the next thing I'm gonna show you. Oh, they also print on craft, craft paper, which is really neat. Get that in the light. Oh, and there's um, prismatic holographic stickers. I'm not really a fan of prismatic um, hollow because I just don't like the shape. I feel like it detracts from your picture, like if you do artwork, but I could be wrong. Someone might pull it off really well. I think it works well with text though. Looks good on text. Um, they also had this neat um, epoxy 3D kind of uh, finish. 
which is really cool. Really like it. Um, yeah, so let me show you these guys right here because this is why I got the sample sticker set because I already have a sample sticker set. But these are new. So um, this is regular hollow. And I'm guessing that if you use the color code for the color behind the hollow, um, when you put hollow on top of it, it'll look like this on top of the colors. And so that's important to know what that'll look like, obviously. And uh, that's regular hollow in the corner there. And then there's one for the glitter. And then uh, when it comes to mirror finish, you can get these metallic colors. I don't know if they're really showing up as really shiny, but they're really, really shiny. And um, then you can get the matte metallic or mirror, but it's basically metallic. And that's really, really pretty too. I really love it. So definitely go to sticker app. Um, it's not an app, it's an actual website and um, get yourself a sample pack so that you can see what they do. Oh, and this is an example of a sticker sheet and it's actually a really cute comic. Um, if you wanna read it, you can just pause. But yeah, it's really cute. And um, this is a really cool uh, Fight COVID free sticker. And I think it's probably a clear sticker, but yeah, they always include a free sticker. So yeah, I definitely recommend them. I've gotten all my uh, vinyl stickers printed through them and they're always great quality and um, the shipping's free for uh, US and Canada, so yeah. Hey guys, happy Thursday. So today I'm working on the fortune teller sketch and I'm watching my favorite Minecraft player, Asuma Void. And um, I'm super excited about the Nether update. I didn't realize that it was um, updated in Minecraft, and so I can't wait to uh, start playing that. And I'll show you guys the sketch. Doodly doo. Here's what I have so far for our fox fortune teller. And I'm super excited. I might change this clothing part a bit, but I want her to have like wavy fabric coming off of it too. And then, but it'll be like see-through, so her tattoos will show. And that's like the plant aspect of her. And um, yeah, I'm really loving how she's turning out. Thank you. 
Hey guys, so today I received a package from Monkey Mintaka and she just opened her shop on Etsy and I'm super excited to see what I got. Well, I know what I got, but to see it in person. <laughs> so thank you, April. Um, all right. And Hun Bun wants to see too. Oh, it's so beautifully packaged. I love this washi. The colors of the washi make me think of um, Bai Bun for some reason, like she would use these colors. <laughs> Do you like it, Han Bun? Oh, yeah? Okay, so I'll read the note first. I'll untie it first. Hey Sasha, thank you so much for your order. I also added a bell print. Oh, thank you. Is that what this is? Oh, she's so cute. I can't wait to add her to my print wall. Hanbun, that's rude. Actually, I'm gonna set you on the ground. Oh, heavy baby. All right, so she has her little sticker here, which is really cute. And I'll put this note and sticker in my bullet journal. Let's see if I can carefully, ah, uh, it's ripping the paper, oh well. So, I love this tape, I need to save this too. Oh, I think it's coming off. Eh, it's still ripping the paper. So excited. Oh, this little guy. Oh, these two little guys. Look how cute they are. Oh, I'm in love. April uses colors like so brilliantly. Oh, I love how she colors things. Hello, little guys. <laughs> and then um, I got the Plant Pals sticker set. And um, I'll open it and show you what they look like. And I really like the backing card here. It has like vines on it. That's really pretty. I'll use this for something in my bullet journal too. I just love these when I saw them. I love her series of plants. And look at the little faces on the, on the plant pots. Can you see that? They're so cute. This guy doesn't look too happy though. Oh, these are so cute. Oh, look at this tiny little teacup. Oh, and a kitty plant pot. And this big guy right here. There's so many in this pack. Like, whoa, I'm gonna have fun with these. Oh, I love the colors in this. Oh, <laughs> stickers are flying everywhere. That's really pretty too, a little fox. Um, I'm really excited about these guys right here because they're um, little, I think they're watercolor splooshes and they're printed on um, transparent um, sticker paper. And so I think they'll look really cool in my bullet journal. So I'm really excited about these. Ah, so excited. And oh, this sticker sheet. Oh my God, I was so excited about this one too. And I love the paper. That's really nice. Um, Really nice, nice texture to the paper. I am artist, oh, I love that. Art supply stickers. I really like the pattern on the pencil shavings. They look really cool. Yes, yeah, so this is awesome, thank you. Let's stick everything to the side because there's one more thing and I think I know what it is. I'm very excited about this item. Do, 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 do. Suspense is killing us all. Do, 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 do. Oh wow, it looks amazing. The colors are so much more brighter in person. Like the um, 
fluorescent pink is, oh, it looks so good. Uh, ooh, I get, I have so much of this washi tape now. I'm so excited. Um, all right. Oh no, I ripped it. Ah, I'm the worst. Okay. I guess I am gonna have to rip it right there. I think I got it. There we go. <laughs> Oh, that is too cute. Oh, and it has a little texture to it from the dots. And I love the backing card. Um, they're hand painted, which is really cool. Very cool. And it's a pin, in case you guys didn't know. It's a pin. Everything is amazing. So everybody, go and head to her shop and buy all the wonderful things, because they truly are wonderful. And they're made by a wonderful person. So yeah, on to the next clip. All right, guys, I didn't see this tiny envelope in um, April's package, so let's see what's inside. Oh, there, oh, <laughs> I'm destroying everything. There we go. What? 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 Oh yeah, the dinosaur sticker. Oh, what is all this awesomeness? Holy crap. Yay! Oh, this kitty is adorable, and so is that kitty. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Hun Bun is back with us again. Super excited. What, what? Thank you, April. I love everything so much. And this was just like the cherry on the sundae. Like, oh, thank you. So guys, I'm finally done the Fox Fortune Teller illustration. Well, the line art. And now, I'm printing out the line art onto the watercolor paper, and then I'm gonna re-ink it with my microns, and then I'm gonna paint it. So yeah, I'll show you what it looks like when it comes out. All right guys, so here's the first printout of my illustration, and as you can see, she printed out with a gray background, which I didn't intend, because I need to paint this with watercolors, and the paper is white on the outside. And so I Googled and I found out that if you save it as a PSD, because it was a PNG, and if I save it to a PSD, it, I guess, gets rid of the background. I'm not sure, it, it worked, so that must have been it. But then I did a little test on a smaller piece of paper and it turned out pretty good. And then I printed it out on the big piece of paper. And it looks great. So, and here's a size comparison. So, um, it's a pretty big illustration <laughs> and I'm super excited to paint it. I'm still not entirely sure what I'm gonna put on the background, but I'm excited to find out. <laughs> So here's my finished Fox Girl fortune teller. And I really love how she turned out. For a while, I wasn't sure how I was gonna do the background, um, but I definitely um, think I figured out something really cool with those stars. I never tried making stars like that before. And I love the textures um, of the paint. I used Amethyst Genuine, Moon Glow, and and sodalite genuine. And together they really look beautiful, I think. 
and um, I used white gouache for the stars. There's her crystal ball. There's her third eye. I guess that's her fourth eye. <laughs> and um, I like how the fabric turned out. And I'm just really proud of this piece and I had so much fun working on it like together with the community and it was just a great experience. I started this painting while I was talking to April slash Monkey Mintaka and um, yeah, I really love how it turned out. I love the um, antler necklace and the tooth earring and the little hand earring. I still need to go over some parts of the silver with black ink again because the silver went over but um, like I need to redefine some areas as you can see right there. But um, yeah, I love her color scheme and the silver accents are just so beautiful and I'll be offering her as a print as well as this lady over here. Um, and you can get this one silver embellished with silver ink and um, uh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't actually capture any video footage of the painting process for this one just because it went by so fast and it was an unplanned piece. So yeah. Anyway, um, hope you guys like. So guys, I'm printing out yet another Medusa. <laughs> she seems to be the most popular um, piece in my shop, which is cool. Um, and I'm gonna package that up and send it off. Here's how she looks all printed out at the five by seven size. It almost looks like the original, which is amazing. I love this paper and this printer, the Canon Pixma Pro 100. Excellent quality, love it. So I also have um, four sticker designs to share with you guys that are currently, um, that I ordered, that are being made by Sticker App. And I believe they are in Sweden. And um, hopefully I'll get the stickers soon. I'm hoping that I'll get them before my shop launch in September. So um, yeah, this is one of them that I got done. And um, all of the holographic stuff is gonna look so cool. I'm super excited to get this one back. And then I'll show, the, show you the other three. So this is my holographic Medusa. She's gonna be a five inch sticker. And I wanted to make a Medusa um, with a black girl because I already made a white girl one and I thought a black girl would be really cool too. And um, so here she is. And I'll show you the white girl one in a sec. So here's the lighter skinned one. And I think the snakes are just gonna look so cool with the holographic stuff. I'm so excited. And these are gonna be big boy stickers, like five inches, insane. This is my fourth sticker. He's a little ghost dude and he's gonna have a holographic border around him. And um, he's gonna be one of the smaller stickers and I just think he's so cute. And I thought it would be perfect for the Halloween autumn season to have a little dude like this. Hey guys, so I just got this package from Amy Howard Art. She's um, a wonderful artist and studio vlogger here on YouTube. I will link her down below. And she is part of a pen pal group that me and some of my fellow artist friends started. And I finally got her package, so I'm so excited. I feel by looking at this box that I may have not sent her very much stuff. <laughs> So um, when I respond back to her, I will have to send her more goodies because I wasn't really sure um, how much you're supposed to send in a pen pal letter, but I've actually recently watched a really cool video by, I believe their name is Mi Han, and I will link them below too because that video was so cool and it was all about like creating um, really awesome pen pal letters. And so I want to do something like that once I get more pen pally stuff. But yeah, totally cool. And so I will show you her stickers. So here it says Amy Howard Art and there's a deer. And it's like in gold. And I don't know if I'll be able to save the sticker, but it's so pretty. And then um, Inspected by Chief Bird. That's super cute. She has um, a puffin group that um, she teaches art lessons to online, I believe. So that's really cool. And I covered our addresses with washi tape. So yeah, let's open this package up. I got my trusty X-Acto knife. Oh, there we go. And can I peel it?
peel this off. Now oh, it's pretty stuck on there. You always have to be careful with um, X-Acto knives because like I've cut myself simply by messing up putting it back in the cap so I'm always super careful. All right let's see what's inside. Oh this looks nice. I'm already feeling the guilt rain in. <laughs> Sorry Amy. Uh, I'll do better with my next package. Anyway this confetti is so cute and I love the color of this um, tissue paper. Yes, I get another sticker. Awesome, I'm gonna save that one. I'm gonna carefully tear around it. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Oh, that's so pretty. I love metallic anything. And look at all these um, confettis. So cute. Ooh. All right, so I see a letter. Oh, there's like little golden confettis too. That's so cool. Anyway, um, I guess I'll read the letter privately. Oh, I love this washi tape. Okay, I'm too excited. Um, all right, so let me just carefully peel that back. Do, 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 do. And I'm gonna read the letter right now privately and I will show you uh, whatever else is in here. Okay, so this is um, Amy's stationery and it is the cutest thing ever. Um, I watched her videos where she created this um, bee and flower piece and it was just amazing seeing um, how she did the details in it. Like, me and realism are so on other sides of the spectrum, like, I can't even comprehend how someone can make something look so real. And um, yeah, so I'm so happy I got one of her um, stationery sheets. And um, I, she asked me a bunch of questions and I did the same to her, but I'm not gonna answer them in this video because I wanna write back to her. So um, yeah, I just wanna say, Amy, you seem like a lovely person and uh, I really enjoyed reading your letter and getting to know more about you. And um, I'm excited to write you back. Now let's see the goodies. All right. Oh my goodness, like guys, guys. Look at this, look at this. My brain does not compute. Like this is so amazing. I'll take, oh, I'll take, oh, there's her information. And it's a compostable bag, which is cool. I need to buy some of those because um, when I first bought my cello bags, I didn't think um, about them being compostable, compostable. So um, I definitely, when I restock, I'm gonna get compostable ones. This is the cutest little puppy. Gotta be careful to, oh, is it stuck? Oh, no, okay. So yeah, isn't that beautiful? And it's such a beautiful print. Like, it printed so beautifully. That's amazing. Thank you so much, Amy. Oh, is this a card? Oh, cool, I thought it was an art print. I think I'll use it as an art print and hang it on my wall. That is so beautiful. All right, and I think there's something else. Oh, wow. Oh my God, there's lots of something else's. Oh, that is amazing. I can't get over how lifelike the eyes are. Like, that's amazing. And the fur texture, all the little colors in there, like the different colors. And how she, I think she left um, areas of white for the whiskers. Like that would take a lot of pre-planning and an illustration to uh, know which areas you're gonna leave white. I kind of do that with watercolor, but this is so precise. Like, wow, I love it. And there's a bird. Is this a hummingbird? Wow, cool, is this a card too? Let us find out. Wow, 
the colors are so rich. That is amazing. I think Amy does pet portraits too, so if you want a pet portrait done by her, like definitely go for it because she is insanely amazing at drawing. Um, anyway, thank you so much, Amy. Um, I'm in love with everything. And like I said, I really enjoyed reading your letter and I'm going to um, write back to you and include some more stuff, um, especially now that I've read your letter and I know um, that you like my art style, like I'll totally send you more stuff. I wasn't really sure, because when I saw your, um, your style, I was like, oh, maybe she won't like mine because uh, mine's not really realistic and you said you did so that's awesome and I love yours too and yay <laughs> so anyway um, yeah guys check her out I'll link her below hey guys I have a new package to open and I'm super excited I was the lucky winner of the artistic newfie slash Karina Hayes uh, giveaway and I'm so excited it comes all the way from Newfoundland and yeah you're artistic doofy, I love your sticker. And I covered our addresses with washi tape. And these stamps are really, really cool. Check them out. I'm gonna have to cut those out and put them in my bullet journal. Cause I think they're really neat. So let's get to it. Oh, um, she also used this really pretty holographic glitter tape, which I love. I'm gonna have to reuse that in my journal. And let's see. Ooh, nice tissue paper. Oh, I always check the envelope to make sure I didn't miss anything. Nope. Okay. Ooh, pretty holographic tape. Some more tissue paper goodness, and this is um, like the one that I use. I have um, the hot pink tissue paper like this with the holographic sparkles, and I love this tissue paper so much. I'm gonna try not to completely destroy it so that I can reuse it in uh, my art journal. Ooh, I can see the pretty things. Let's see. Sasha, thank you for all your support, sharing my post and encouraging people to check it out to check out my art. It means a lot. I hope you enjoy the prints and stickers. Oh, thank you so much, Karina. I'm gonna save this too. I put everything cool in my bullet journal, like everything I get. Wow, this sticker is so beautiful. I love it. I remember watching you um, create this sticker in your vlog and I was like, oh, it's so pretty. Oh, I love it. Ooh, she's gorgeous. Oh, she must be a mermaid because she has like she's in the water and she has scales and a crown of shells So that's really cool. Oh, and your creepy clown sticker Ah! <laughs> awesome. Thank you for including that. All right. I fold over my uh, cello bags too when things are smaller. Maybe I should use the scissors. So cool and so creepy like there's something super creepy about clowns and I haven't even seen the it movies but because probably because I'd have nightmares but oh so creepy all right let's see these prints up close so we've got the mermaid Oh, she's so pretty. I love her tattoos, they're so cool. 
and the witchy vibes are on point. Totally on point. Oh, this tattoo kind of reminds me of Audra Eau Claire because she has um, dots tattooed like on her chin and I think on her neck too. That's really cool. I love um, tattoos like that. Ooh, we have an elven princess. Oh, I love her and I love the moon. So pretty. And the details in this, um, would it be like a headdress or just head jewelry? I don't know, but it's really pretty. I really like it. Oh, she's cool, witch please. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, I love what you did with her eyes. That is so cool. They kind of look like they're on fire. Oh, I love all her piercings and that moon. And like the glitter in the moon looks like real glitter, even though it's just um, printed glitter. That's really cool. Ooh, I love her. I love um, drawing characters with like parts of their hair shaved. I think that looks so cool. Oh, I love her. And the jewelry is awesome. Ooh, I love her. And you drew that hand so well. Like, holy crap. Good job. Hands are hard. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, you'll float too? Oh no, I don't even want to know what that's referencing. I don't want to be floating anywhere near this guy. And that's all of them. And I have this lovely backing card to reuse in my packaging. These are just so beautiful, Karina. Thank you so much. I feel so lucky to have won because when I was sharing the giveaway, I was like, Oh man, I hope I win. I don't know if I wanna share it with all these people. <laughs> so thank you so much, Karina. I'm gonna hang these on my wall. Probably all of them, but this dude right here, cause that will give me nightmares. <laughs> but thank you so much. They're all beautiful. And I feel so lucky to have won your giveaway. And yeah, thank you. So guys, thank you so much for watching my vlog. Um, it's a super hot day today, like there's blue skies and it's pretty out, but like I'm sweating buckets out here and with the hot lights over me, oh my goodness. But thank you again for watching and all the links to my shop and all that good stuff are down below and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!